Pat Schroeder died Monday of complications from a stroke. She was 82 years old and survived by Jim and her two children. Good night. This is CBS News Flash. I'm Chanel Call in New York. Ohio is suing Norfolk Southern over a toxic train derailment in East Palestine last month. The state wants the railroad company to pay for the cleanup, environmental damage and economic losses. The FAA will hold a safety summit today following a recent spike in close calls in the air. Airlines, unions, airports and other industry members will take part. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg has called the situation deeply troubling. And embattled New York Congressman George Santos now signaling a possible 2024 re-election bid. He filed paperwork with the Federal Election Commission despite facing ethics and criminal complaints. For more, download the CBS News app on your cell phone or connected TV. I'm Chanel Call, CBS News, New York. is the CBS Overnight News. Tonight, a story making international headlines. The first known physical confrontations between U.S. and Russian military forces since the war in Ukraine began. A Russian fighter jet rammed a $57 million U.S. drone, forcing it down. But first, an intensifying nor'easter is slamming New England tonight. About 23 million Americans across 12 states are under a winter storm warning or advisory, with some areas already getting more than two and a half feet of snow. Airports across the Northeast in cities like New York and Boston are impacted with more than 4,000 delayed flights and 1,000.